On our planet, there is no place more diverse than Queens, New York. Of its 2.5 million residents, over 100 nationalities are represented. That's 100 different cultures, religions, and ways of life. No place on earth boasts such a range and wealth of backgrounds, as does the borough of Queens. For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong on behalf of those whose heart is loyal to him. 2 Chronicles 16, 9 The word of God tells us that this battle is not ours, but rather that God seeks only for hearts who will stand up, pursue his word, and obey. Leading his congregation in a movie theater, Pastor Jeremy Sweet in the Forest Hills Community Church is one of those hearts. One of the best testimonies we have of our church is people say they were drawn to the church, not the church drew them in. And the reality is, as Jesus said, if you lift me up, I will draw all men unto myself. So on Sunday mornings, we lift Jesus up. He's bringing people in. He's growing the church and put things in perspective for us. Forest Hills is not alone in its struggles. Within similar areas of Queens, there lies hidden a lethal poison often found in prosperous congregations and yet rarely discerned by its leadership. One of the biggest problems is apathy when it comes to the Lord. Uh, Stephen Roth, a pastor in Laurelton, has been taught the weapon with which to strike this enemy. Prayer is the key, seeking him. We have been blessed with people who know the power of prayer, who know that any revival will not happen unless the people are praying. It's seeking him for what he wants. While apathy and religion are problems in some areas, the effects of transgression in other regions are more obvious. Sin appears to reign most anywhere. However, in South Ozone Park, some churches are preparing to change that. At the People's Church, while alcohol and poverty wage war outside, Inside, the presence of prayer is moving God's hand in powerful ways. David Berrios is the pastor of this small but faith-filled Assembly of God Church. I've learned that all ministry is all about God. It's not about me. It's not about my brother or my sister. It's about working together to build the kingdom of God. Uh, I do want to share one experience when I, I just mentioned now about the boiler. This lady from the community comes and she says, oh, here's for you, church pastor, and continues to walk again. When I came inside and opened the envelope, there was $300 in 20s. God, this way God just moves. You know, I never saw the lady before, never saw the lady ever again. <laughs> Tell me this is, God doesn't work in mysterious ways. With diversity in culture comes diversity in needs. And yet there is only one sure way. My prayer is that more pastors, including myself, will never get caught up in materialism and things that don't matter and get caught up in what does matter and who we do have, who is free, and who is Jesus.